Can I say yay mouth? Yay mouth! Yay mouth! Oh my god. Andrew W. Oh my Okay. Whoa. Please draw the last shape we're gonna do. Equilateral triangle. Ooh. Is there a camera on the back? Yeah, please. Yeah, use use as much space as you need. Equilateral triangle. Notice that the sides are not given. I'm going to say that it is equilateral, so we can mark that. Okay? The sides aren't given, but what is given? Radius. That would be if it's a circle. No, it's not a circle. It's a midway point. Or it's a, I ate mid -point. half of the album. Oh, the link. Apothem. Oh, Apothem. Apothem. Gotham. Apothecary. What's the thing that's like the link? It's like Apothecary. Altitude? No. Height? Uh, oh, oh. Median? Why are you asking for? Oh, it's gonna kill me. Are we into the bisector? Don't no. make it. Okay, we'll come back to you. We'll come back. Apothem is given. Apothem is given. So oh, we want the shape, oh, no. the area of this triangle. Normally, you guys, normally the area of this triangle is one half base times height. If you're able to get this whole height, that's great. There are ways to do that. Can't you just double the apothem? No, it's not. Good guess. It's not. It's not. That's a really good guess, though. Okay. Um, let's find out what it is. Yes. So is that point in the middle a midpoint, or is that just a, a, a point? Assuming it's here? assuming it's the height Mid based point. on the middle. Yes, it is the middle. Yeah. yeah. So then, if shouldn't it be doubled? Then it, it would make the total height of the triangle. If it if, because if it's a midpoint, shouldn't that be exactly half of the triangle? You know what? Let's find out. Let's find out. Maybe maybe both of you are right. Maybe both of you are right. Oh my god. Oh my way. Now, instead of using this, let's try the one half. Notice, it's, it's a positive practice. PA. It's a good practice to put one half. If you put the formula down, and then, uh, and then work on what you need to get. Do we know anything already? We know the apothem, so you can put two in. Two. So one half times. So we need the perimeter. OK. No. Now, we could do the 360 divided by how many in this case? Two. 180. Three. Two. What? How many triangles There's would exist? four triangles three. in There's three, actually. I'm going to draw three. them so you represent. There's four. The triangle. Oh. There's triangle. Are you arguing with them, Matthew? The triforce is within that. There's four triangles. So I like three. That's what the idea of three is. But what you can do is. Remember how many sides there are? That's how many triangles there can be. Yeah, that's right. That's the, basically the idea. You divide by the number of sides. However, there's a quicker way equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Each angle must be what? The same. Making it? 60. 60. Putting it down. Each of these are 60. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect. Oh, I'm sorry. I dropped my pencil. So if that's 60, how do we get sides? Suggestions? Suggestions? No? Oh, front, front? no, I don't know. They're going back, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'll come back to you. Come back to you. Uh, go ahead. 30, 60, it is a 3690. Where do I draw it? The three triangles that you can make. Well, the 306090 degree will be a 90 degree triangle in there, a right triangle. Good. Yeah. This is your 90 right there. Oh, yeah. Where would the rest be? Up. All the way up? Yeah. We're that could work. Up. Yeah. That could work, but, that, but we don't know this whole side. Can I show it to you? Yeah. What are you going to say? I was going to say right there, you draw from the midpoint to the... Yeah, from the midpoint over. Check that out. Uh, because we have this side. If we drew all the way up, we don't have one side. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So here's two. What angle is this? 30. 30. Putting it down. 30. Just a smidgen. Okay. Now you can fill it in. Great. This is 30. 2 is the 30 side. Oh. Oh. So I know the hypotenuse is going to be 4. Well, you. And I then know that the 60 side the only will be, be like 2 root 3. Or sin. Good job, Scotty. Yep. Yes, let's talk about it. If you're at the 30 degree side, that's 2, the side opposite 30. To get the side opposite 60, you multiply by? Root 3. Uh, three. Root 3. So that's 2 root 3 is this particular side. Indeed. 2 root 3 is that particular Indeed. side. Indeed. So if that's 2 root 3, what's this? 2 root 3. What's oh. the entire side? 4. Say it. 
four and three. Four and three. three is the entire side. Which means that every single side is four and three. That was fun. I like it too. Yay, Matt. What is the perimeter then? Oh. Oh, Twelve root three. Twelve root, root, root nine. Three. 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 You're adding four root three plus four root three plus four root oh. three is twelve root threes. Just like this is true. Four x plus four x plus four x equals twelve x. Notice I didn't change x when I add. I group them. Because you have 12 like, x's, we have 12 like root squares. Very nice. Same with x squared. Bravo. You don't change x squared when you add them. You have 12 x Only squared. If you're Multiplying is a different story, correct? It's not a grouping anymore if you're multiplying. Root three times root so we're putting 12 root 3 here. Bravo. Okay. Finally, what do we have? Oh. 6 root 3, six three, three times, times 2 makes 12 root, 12 root 3. I also like the half times 2, they go away, leaving 12 root 3 alone. 12 root 3, let's put it down in meters. Meters squared is the area. Okay. Now, let's figure out whether or not this is double, shall we? That was your question? We shall. Yes. So if this is four, do you agree that this triangle you create here, that this would be four as well? It's a, it's my size. <laughs> yeah, so the entire height is six. The okay. entire height is six, which would still work. Because if you did one half base times height, you're still going to get the same answer. Let's find so out. So would it be six? So would it be six so to say that you basically yeah. double the apothem and then basically add the apothem and double together? I think that's a safe assumption for a equilateral triangle. Yes. So only for equilateral triangles. Yeah. So then not technically, for, like, isn't triangles? that not a correct midpoint? Because if it's a real midpoint, wouldn't it be just doubled in that? Mid, it's midpoint Here. to each of the vertices. Uh, like you uh, spin it on a wheel. Um, if you were to spin it on that dot, the dot would. So it's like move. a perpendicular vertical, right? Yeah. Where, where, where yes. Half, yes. Half. Let's put it down. One half. The base would be what? The base uh, of this triangle. Four root three. Four root three. And the height is six. Six. Does this work? It does. It does. So this is two root three right here, multiplying times six. Twelve root three. All right, there's one little caveat that we're gonna add and we're almost done. Composite shapes. Oh. What if, I want you to draw, please. Oh, after, can we do one of like these? We're doing it right now. Oh, okay. Good job, that's called a composite shape. Thank you for asking. Is composite shape. Back? Here we go. What I want you to do, Drew, Drew, <laughs> what I want you to draw is a circle around this. Circle around the triangle. I'm going to erase a little to make it easy on the eye. These shapes can be really fun or they can be really tricky. What we want to do is we want the area of the outside shaded region. That is a great triangle. The outside shaded region. And we have here, we have a pot that will leave it as two. Okay. Put the 90 degrees. I'll shade that in green. I'll shade it in blue. Now, the challenging thing to understand about the shaded region is understanding the logic behind it. The logic behind it, right? Mary, let's get real. It's a living Take thing. this off. The logic behind the shaded region. Whoa, like, light flooding my eyes. <laughs> and you have like the little, like, you know, like Ridge. the indents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and That's the nose pieces. It's called commitment. <laughs> <laughs> point to this guy. I think it's because you're reliable. That's how I point to you. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Thank you for taking it as a compliment. That's what I intended. So here we go. This is the entire shaded, the shaded region is what we want. How do we do it theoretically? First, we need we need two areas. What are the two oh, areas we need? What's one area that we need? Okay. We, need uh, we need to know the area of one triangle of one of the many triangles inside the triangle. Don't we know the area of the entire triangle? Isn't that enough? Ah. Oh. So we have the area of the entire triangle. Just about the what else do we need? Go ahead, tell us. Um, we need to find the area of the circle, and then we need to subtract the two areas so we can find the area of the outside part. Be It's basically like the walk around the pool. 
Like we have basically right. like a pool, yeah. and then we have the deck, and we see how much it's like around. That's right. If you have a triangular pool, circular deck, how much deck space is there? And that's the exact philosophy. The philosophy is this, and please write this down. Very important. Area of shaded equals area of the circle. So who's tuning into what he said? First you get the area of the circle, someone else say it. What do you do from the area of the circle? Someone else besides you too, because I'm glad you're really tuned in. You do area of the circle, then you take what out of it? You take the, the, the triangle. Yes, the area of the triangle. So what math am I doing? Minus. Minus, Minus. area of? Triangle. Very good. Area of the triangle. It kind of looks like a triangle. Area of the shaded region equals the area of the circle minus the area of the triangle. Are we okay with that? Any questions? Does that make sense? Okay. Cornelius, you okay? Yeah. Ecclesiastes? Okay. All right. Emergency. Caesar. Emergency. Good pass. news is we have pass. half of this problem done. What can I fill in? You can fill in the area of the, of the triangle. We Correct. Did we did that already. Which yes. is 12 or 3 meters squared. So let's put 12 or 3 in here. Now we need the area of the circle. What we can do is, well, do we have like a measure? We have measurements Three, on the circle. Any measurement? Three six. What is the formula for the area of the circle? It is a, a equals pi r squared. Pi r squared. Put it down. Pi r squared. I wish I knew radius. We do. We do. Four. It's looking right at us. It's four. There it is. Center oh, to edge. there we go. Four. Let's outline it in red. Radius looking right at us, four. Red for majesty, and I did. What is the area of the circle then? Tell us if the radius is four. Oh. Try, try. I want to do Mr. B man. If the radius is four and the area is pi r squared, what would they? pi. Thank you for thinking it through. It's a lost art, isn't it? The act of sitting and thinking. Let's put down the uh, area of the circle before we uh, conclude this problem. What's the area of the circle here, please? Oh, it's 16, 16 pi. 16 pi. Ah. So now the question is? I want some pi. Do these combine? No. No. So no. we're done. The area of the shaded region it is equal 16 pi. Minus 12, 12 3, 3, 3 inches squared. Inches. Okay, now back to the story of Mr. Smith and then we're done. Mr. Smith, my seventh grade teacher, at the end of one PE class, he said, tomorrow we're going to discuss the funky Kornhauser rule. What? I'm serious. Funky and then, and then he said, okay, class dismissed. And then we would leave. And then the next day we would come to class and then he would ask. He'd be like, Ecclesiastes or Cornelius or... Smack dad. You say, what are we going to do today? And then the guy was like, oh, I don't know. And he says, okay, just think about it. And we sat, we stood for like five long minutes. And I'll never forget the look on his face. He was like this. Where, where were you? Why, did he, he forget just, too? He was thinking, he was thinking. And he went like this, he went, after five minutes, he said, Oh, we're going to go over the rule. And he's like, nice. And I always thought that since then, the act of long-term unbroken thought has been a lost art form. It was a beautiful moment. For five minutes, we just let this dude just think. And he just thought and thought and thought and thought. And five minutes, they were going over the rule. So he did remember. Uh, what is the he rule? Just, it was nothing. It was just, <laughs> it was the rule. That, uh, that's a great question. It was just to get this, it was to get us to remember what happened the day before. It was really cool. And then, and I don't remember what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me neither. Like funky Kornhauser. Oh, okay. like that. <laughs> All right. It, it happened to me the other day, back in Maryland. It happened to me the other day, for Father's Day, we went to a restaurant, and I remember the waiter's name. It was Skyler. And I looked at him, and I was like, Skyler. Him? Him? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he had a beard. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. And from then on, we had a great experience because I remembered his name. It's like I think that was really a positive experience. Did you ever like tied up in like a little knot, like a little? Beard? No, no, it was, it was relatively long though. It was a real beard. It wasn't like a five day. It wasn't like thing like, or, like, or, or five hour thing. It wasn't whiskers. So it wasn't on a whiskers. first name basis with one of the waiters at where? Hugo's. Oh, I don't know. Hugo's tacos. 
No. So, no. All American that place fanfare. Get into, though, oh, it's right. Bread. Oh, I know where it is. I know it's near the uh, gelato place. place. It's always crowded. It's pretty oh, good. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's from the Go like place. this to me. <laughs> bye. Pass me the beat. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Say B, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.